Hey YouTube guys and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I have this Jack Skellington inspired Halloween look for you guys today. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look step by step, keep on watching. Okay guys, I'm going to be going in with this Marathon Clan White Face Paint and I'm going to be applying it with this Dry Beauty Blender. I will be applying it all over my face, not really trying to go too heavy on my eyes since those are going to be covered in black paint and I will be applying it down on my neck as well. I will be applying two coats of this face paint just because I really wanted it to get I really wanted to get that full white coverage of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Okay, here guys, I apologize big time. I thought I was recording when I was doing my eyes, but apparently I wasn't. But basically the only thing I did was start off with my eyes here on this little corner where I'm painting at right now. And I just kind of like was like starting to do like a square, but instead of doing like a sharp corner right here, I kind of did it round and then I brought it down like um, if I were to do a circle and then kind of just connected it all. Um, I'm so sorry that I wasn't recording, that I did not notice that I was recording, but um, I hope this was enough for you guys to kind of get a visual of how I was shaping it. So here I'm just going to be uh, filling it out with that black paint um, with this little small brush and then I will be going back in with my white paint just because um, I feel like um, it still needed more coverage. So I went in with a wet beauty sponge and then I'm blending it out with a dry beauty sponge. Now here I'm going to be going in with this super white setting powder and I'm going to be setting that white paint just because it is very like thickish. So I went ahead and set it here. I'm just setting it everywhere where it's the white paint at and then I will be going back in with that black paint and I'm going to be going over my eyes once again just because some of that um, loose powder kind of got on my eyes and obviously we want them as black as they can get. Now here I'm going to be setting that black paint. <laughs> Sorry guys, I apologize. My husband didn't know that I was recording and he walked in talking and when he realized he paused and his face was just priceless and made me like laugh. So here I'm just going to be creating the eyebrows and um, with a really small brush and then I'm gonna be going in with a fluffier brush to kind of blend it out. Now here I decided to go in with that same fluffy brush and um, decided to create like a shadow above that eye the eyebrows that I created. Um, at first, like I was really, really regretting this just because it was like really dark and it looked like I just did like double eyebrows and it was just like a hot mess. So I was like about to take it off and then start all over, but then I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I just kept going. So 
while I thought of what to do next for the little shadow that I created on top, I decided to go ahead and start on the bottom of my eyes to create that um, shadow as well there. This is just to create like more expression to my face, you know, to make me look a little bit more like frowny, more like, you know, like wahaha, like a little bit more evil, more scary. So that's what I'm doing here. So here I decided to go back and not add any more eyeshadow to my brush and just basically blend and like just blend that eyeshadow that has already been applied there and it started to actually look way better. So that's what I did there and then I went back on the bottom and just started blending like blending a lot without adding any more eyeshadow and then it all like started to come out together at the end very nicely. Now here I'm just going to be contouring a little bit my nose with that same um, leftover eyeshadow here. So that's what I'm just doing here. Not really doing anything more, anything too drastic. So yes. So here I'm going to be going in with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to start bouncing up my uh, cheekbones just to just for it to look like more like thin and sharp. So that's what I'm doing here. I did go in with that black eyeshadow but you guys can start off with a gray eyeshadow and then build it up. Now here I'm just going to be going in with that exact same black paint and I'm going to be making the shape of my mouth here. I'm just using this big like kind of big flat brush to make like the thickness of how much I want my lips to look and how far I want them to go to the side. So now I'm going to go back in with that really thin paintbrush and I'm going to be applying more black paint and basically this little brush just did the job for me like all I did was just go up and down with the black paint and then these little lines were created now here to really finish off the look I'm going to be creating like this these type of teardrops type of shapes here on my nostrils just to really get that jack type of look because this is how he has his so that's basically what i'm doing here with that really thin uh paint brush that i have been using okay babe so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial from today so 